Hello Lakeview Church, I'm Bo Martin and I get to share this Thursday devotional with you. Thank you for uh, participating in these uh, where we take a few minutes and share with you what the Lord has been doing in our lives. Uh, for me recently I've been convicted on something that is simple and I feel like I should already have underneath my belt as a believer. Uh, but I don't, and so the Lord is bringing me back around to it. So it's nothing profound, um, but it's that He is a person. And uh, last week, uh, my wife and I had some friends over for dinner, friends who we uh, really trust and love, and we were talking about uh, just everything that's going on in the world, and the concept of truth came up, and uh, the argument about how well, there is no truth or everybody's truth is relative. And um, my friend from across the table said, there is truth and he is real and we know him. And I, of course, was with her when she said there, there is truth. Truth is real. But when she said, and we know him, uh, it was a convicting moment for me because I was agreeing with her and I was thinking yeah of course there's truth we know the truth and yeah I was equating it to all of the facts and the knowledge and the concepts and uh, the truths that we know in scripture or from the Lord on how he wants us to live and so on and so forth but I wasn't equating truth as being real with it being the person of God also as I've been reading in scripture recently I have been reconvicted on on God's extreme uh, amount of how He shows His personality in the Scripture uh, to people. In the Old Testament, uh, He makes His way to show Himself to Abraham and to Jacob and to appear uh, to kings in dreams and to Moses in a burning bush and then again a cloud and. And it's even described that he speaks to Moses face to face as though they were friends. And he just has an insane amount of personality that he wants to share with you and with me. And so oftentimes, I don't know if you're like me, I feel like it's a, a Western or an American uh, disposition, but it, it's it's true for me, uh, whether it is that or not, that, um, that I am more often comfortable knowing about God than knowing Him in the moment. I find myself more comfortable learning a new fact about Scripture or uh, ancient times when uh, Jesus walked the earth and so on and so forth than I am about actually just pausing and asking Him uh, whether it's been reading scripture or praying or listening to a song or a sermon, I'm more willing to log away the little things that I learned than actually pause and be with the person of God. But I've had him convict me recently that, for me, it's not going to be the ideas about him that I know, the facts, the truths, what he thinks about morality, education, leadership. It's not going to be those ideas that take me to the end of the line. It's going to be my love for him as a person. And the world trades in ideas, but we have a relationship with him, or we can. Uh, another way I was thinking about it was, if someone was going to come to Christ would I be sharing a lot of ideas that I know about him? Or would I be sharing with them my real-time relationship of what he's doing in my life? Could I even describe that? I think in previous seasons I could pretty well, but I don't know about currently as well. And so I think he's been convicting me of getting back to knowing him, not just the idea of him, personally. So I'd ask that you would continue with me after this devotional, whether it's right after or at some point today, and take a few minutes and ask him to reveal himself as a person to you, just like he did to Abraham, just like he did 
to Jacob, just like he did to Moses and so many other people throughout Scripture. And as he does, whether that's in a picture or whether he takes you to Scripture or leads you to him in a song or through the counseling of a friend, I pray that you would thank him for who he is, take a few minutes and speak to him face to face, just like Moses did. And then selfishly, I ask that you would come and share that with me on Sunday. And I'm going to do the same thing right now. Ask me how the Lord has revealed himself to me. And let's share on the bread of life, who is a person uh, together. So thank you for joining with me in this. And I look forward to getting to know how you're getting to know God better.